Hello, it's James from Autosolve. I'm going to show you a function within Diagnostic Assistance software which will help technicians easily and quickly get to the relevant information. It's a search function, and in the search function I can put terms in the search function or I can put fault codes. In this case I've got a vehicle here in the workshop with a fault um, 2456 diagnostic trouble code pulled from the scan tool. And when I pop that in Diagnostic Assistance it comes up with a component test information for diesel particulate uh, diesel particulate filter pressure sensor. I'm going to click display and this will then take me to a component test sheet and the component test sheet gives me an idea of what to do now to prove that the, the component's faulty, the wiring faulty or the control unit's faulty. So if I scroll to this page you can see a section there which is highlighted in green that means that the search box has found that search item on this page. If I click the search item box it gives me a description of that fault code and I can use this to cross verify what the scan tool is telling me. Diesel particulate filter pressure sensor circuit days um, malfunction. Okay, what we're going to do in this stage, uh, at this stage of the repair, is we can look through the four windows in the diagnostic assistance uh, component information. If I didn't know what this was, I can search down through to take a look at the component, see if that's the one I've got, and then understand some of the basics around that component's function, its operation, how it goes wrong, and where it's likely to be located. The second page I've got here pre-test information, things I need to know, um, component pin assignment, which terminal is, is carries which function, and in fact how the, how the sensor is wired. Um, we've got then EOBD fault codes um, and trouble codes which we've looked at, diagnostic master tech notes, so if you could phone somebody that knew all about this that will give you some tips and guidance of things, perhaps pitfalls to avoid, that, that will be listed here. And we've all, we can also see then a chart which dictates, um, or sorry, shows us pressure differential, sensor voltage, and volume of gas moved. The third window that we can look at down here is test conditions. So how do we test the component? And then the procedure. How should we test it? How should we set the thing up? And what, what's the best tool to give me the most accurate information? Shown by a connection illustration, how this thing is hooked up to the ECU, and then how we should test it. And finally, the test results, and this um, show me then an oscilloscope waveform. We've also got a multimeter and or a scan tool function, and then we could use that in conjunction with the chart to give us an idea of the output, and also what's it, what we should be looking for if we get unexpected results.